from my Carly goes three. That's what TV producers do too. Three, two. No, you stop at two. Yeah, you stop at three. Don't say two. Three. Did you guys watch um, the reboot of iCarly? Not yet. Not really. We haven't watched watch old iCarly. Oh, right, so right, right. We right, have right. to watch all of it. We have a lot to do. We don't have time for this right now. Anyway, welcome back. Howdy. It's back to our old shit. Yeah. Sassles on the road. I forgot what our intro is. I'm Bianca. I'm Kayla. I'm Katie. And we're like assholes on the road. And we're all over the place. I don't know what order we used to go in. We, we're a little out of practice. It's, it's been, been 17 months. Hot sec. It, it really hasn't been that long, but it absolutely feels like it's been about a jillion years. Yeah, I don't know the last time I filmed a podcast, recorded a podcast, whatever we do with these things. But no. I know that I've lived many years. You may have, have noticed. Yeah, we have gotten a lot of questions, though, because apparently people aren't listening to us, our weekly... <laughs> yeah, <laughs> updates that now they've been texting us consistently. Yeah, who knew that people cared that much about our podcast? Yeah, definitely. I've had family members say, um, "I don't know what's going on with your life because you stopped doing the podcast." And, and like, you're like, "Me neither." <laughs> <laughs> well, that's definitely true, but not necessarily the uh, vibe I was trying to send out. That's fair. So. But um, you welcome may have to noticed. The van. Yeah, welcome to the van. But um, also, <laughs> you're we're we're videoing. So oh, yeah. if th- if you're only listening, I'm speaking to the microphone. Like these are <laughs> like people are actually in the listeners. microphone. <laughs> you guys are the viewers. So if you're just listening, we highly recommend going over to YouTube and watching as well. Because yeah, you know, you'll get to see all of the rolling of the eyes that occurs. Yeah, it should be entertaining. Because starting this season on, we are now posting YouTube videos. So we're gonna be YouTube stars. So we're gonna be posting <laughs> our, our video podcasts, and we're gonna be posting weekly on Tuesday weekly van build videos. Van build videos. So we'll go into detail what went into everything. So you're not just like listening to us talk about it. You'll actually see what it is that yeah. we did. Yeah, because we know it's boring. <laughs> we could go on about it forever. But we know we you don't want to listen to about grinders and... I mean, grinders. Screw. Well, maybe exciting. a different kind of grinder. But we're but not, not the that grinders thing. we were using. Mm-hmm. Different grinders. But you don't want to listen about tools and bits and, you know... Shiplap. And... Shiplap. But, We're not um, HGTV is the moral of that yeah. story. So Tuesdays, tune in for our HGTV version of Sassels on the Road, if you're interested. <laughs> but like the janky, but but the janky <laughs> yeah, class D people who don't know what the F they're doing, yeah. figuring it out. And then on Thursdays, our, our actual blog diary of what we're doing that week, where we're going to be. What's visual. going on? Like you hear us tell these stories and we'll go into visual detail about what has been going on yeah. because you know it is week we, it's been a month over a month oh it's been, been two months it's been no that we've been into the in the van has it been two months i don't know i can't decide because i've been here for a million years it's been so. like five weeks my so. last day of work was june 11th yeah you moved in on june 16th so yeah so it's been like five weeks that we've been and we haven't oh my God. really updated anybody on anything because it's been an up and down roller coaster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah yeah yeah, we're gonna we're just gonna briefly summarize that because we're gonna go into more detail in future podcasts because the honest truth is we probably have ten hours of content just in the last few months, but we don't wanna bore you with it. So here's the update. Van broke down, van started again, van broke down, van started again, van broke down, <laughs> we all left because we were tired of that bullshit. <laughs> then we came back, the van broke down. <laughs> Um, then we took it to the shop for a final time. So far, we've been in it for about a week with it functioning perfectly. And we've gone through Idaho, Utah, Wyoming, and now we're in Montana. Yeah. Montana. First time in Montana for yeah. both of us, right? Yeah. Cool. I've never been to Montana. Oh. Well, I guess Yellowstone's in Montana. Okay. So. Kind of. All three of us first time in Montana. Yeah. yeah. So. so yeah. We are, that's where we're at. So we are officially on the trip. And to be fair, it was supposed to start five weeks ago and it's really just started this week. And also before, uh, before all of that, we finished out the build because last time that you guys heard from us, we were still in the midst of the build. Yeah. I was living on a futon, not a bed, so I couldn't actually stretch out. 
and there was running water. There was not a stove. Um, there was very little storage, which meant very little it was storage. very messy. It was very messy. And then 90% um, of the electricals weren't working. We just had the lights and like the one plug that I needed personally. Everything else I was waiting to finish when we were all done up. But so now we're going to rewind back to that. Yeah. We're going to talk about how Katie and I had to deal with moving and coming here and you know, the process of all that. And how Kayla was preparing for us to arrive. I mean, my preparations for your arrival were stocking up on wine. Um, and just like getting a Zen position about how I'm uptight and y'all aren't, but y'all are uptight about other things. So it's just like a, yeah, just I did relish. We're not aggressively uptight uh, well, and that's where the difference. Oh, I can definitely be aggressively uptight depending on what's happening. <laughs> I'm aggressively uptight about my time and how it's spent and how efficient people are. They're aggressive about whether there's clutter out on surfaces. Fair. 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 Stop looking at I it like, like that. Well, I'm just, I feel like there are more things to say, but... That's an over not here for, for therapy and self <laughs> no. I will say my way that I was prepping for them to arrive was just truly enjoying my last moments of living on my own because I honestly hadn't lived on my own in a very long time. Actually, I want to go with ever. So I enjoyed my six weeks of being alone. I, I Didn't do... you have a semester of no roommate in the sorority house? Yeah, but I don't know if that counts for various reasons we shouldn't get into on this podcast. <laughs> See us on Patreon for that particular the answer to that question. Anywho, um, that's what I was doing. I was just hanging out by myself and my dog. That's what I miss. But you guys were headed here. Yeah. To live in a tiny home. The tiniest of tiny homes. I remember when I used to want a tiny home and it was like 300 square feet and I was like, wow, that's so small. And now we have 60 for three people. 60 square feet. I don't know. Is that what we have? I think so. Wow. I think it's close to that. We've got a lot of stuff in here. We did. <laughs> Um, do you want to go first? I was like, I don't know who wants to go first. We both had different journeys here. Yeah. While Kayla was sitting here joining, jo enjoying a long time. While I was packing up my New York apartment of six years. And the thing, Katie had a car and so she had a little more room to bring stuff. And I had to pack everything up and bring two suitcases. So it took me a while. <laughs> to get the muster up the energy to move everything and my best friend Asia was a real saint and she drove a U-Haul to New York because there weren't any cheap ones they're way more cheaper where she was so she drove drove to New York and picked me up and for the next couple of weeks I was actually ditching out <laughs> I was gonna say you lived everywhere for a couple of weeks because I was just really doing the New York thing up big for the last three weeks that I was there and then I went to Pennsylvania and hung out with my friend Asia and I did I'd never been to Philadelphia so we did Philadelphia and some Pennsylvania things and then with I national went... treasure flashbacks the whole time yeah. I assume um, definitely that's what I thought about when I went to Liberty Bell I was upset that I couldn't actually go into see yeah. it but i had to see it from the did glass did you see nick cage oh yeah N me and nick cage were like just tour buddies the entire time why didn't you invite him <laughs> to come on our van trip he had to find the treasure yeah, to fund to... the van trip. he already found two treasures <laughs> he needed a third one i'm still waiting for that third national treasure <laughs> yeah please nicholas cage if you ever listen to our podcast i would like for you to make a third national treasure movie i don't care that you look old now i would still like it rude <laughs> okay but let's be honest it's like saying Indiana Jones making another one at 80. That's not the same. He is, is 80 years old. Nick Cage is probably like 50. <laughs> it doesn't look like Also, you, yeah, he's a treasure hunter. I mean, it's fine. It, his treasure hunting in, is knowledge, not actual adventuring. So, you know, it makes sense. What do you mean? He he did that whole... This isn't a national okay, okay, treasure okay, okay, podcast. Okay, okay, okay. Why are you going further into well, it? Sorry. Don't worry. <laughs> anyway, so National Treasure Adventuring in Philadelphia. And then I went to visit another friend in Chicago. Uh, no, but there was something before Chicago. I went to Columbus. Yeah, don't you dare forget. <laughs> I went to Columbus for a week. And then I went to Chicago. And then Katie texted me and was like, if you want to stay longer, you can. Yeah. And I was like, well, I'm not going to rush <laughs> to go live in a work site van because, you know... The reason I waited so long is because my analness would not have been well. Yeah, you wouldn't have liked us. <laughs> wouldn't have done I well because while they were us. working, 
that it was a work site and they would just clean it every night and build up the van. And so Katie texted me and said I could stay longer and I was like, no need to tell me twice. And I <laughs> extended my trip to, in Chicago from like four days to like eight days. <laughs> and that was really fun. And then I got here and that was like three weeks, like three or four weeks of me just jumping around on my own mini Living trip. Living your best yeah. life. Doing your own thing. Uh, what did I do? I packed up my life from Abilene, and I've lived there for a decade, so I was having some weird feelings about that situation. Um, yeah, then I drove to, oh, oh, packed up my apartment. I did a lot of packing, and it was really annoying. I was so over it by the end. Packed up my apartment. Moved all of that stuff to my sister's house. Unpacked her house. Well, unpacked my stuff at her house. And then, of course, she had not unpacked any of her own stuff. Mm -hmm. So then I unpacked all of her stuff and organized her whole house because she hadn't done it yet. And that place was a garbage can. Which, <laughs> that, I'm not, like, Grace throwing... Grace is going to be pissed. No, I'm not throwing Grace under Grace, the bus. Grace, just to let you know, because Grace watches all the time, uh, she was calling your house a trash Yeah, Grace would call oh. it that, too. Also, Grace, how much garbage did you have in your house <laughs> when I was there? So, <laughs> so, um, yeah, I did that. And then went to my parents' house again. And then... Oh, hung out with Meg and Jake, and then I drove to, I packed up my car with my stuff, I ran over to Kayla's dad's house to pick up what I thought were going to be, like, multiple boxes of things that she needed. Nope. It was literally just... It was multiple boxes of things that I needed. I think we should be clear, the definition she just gave is perfectly accurate for what she had to pick up. What was it? What was it? It was two boxes of wine, multiple boxes of stuff. Yeah. So it was I really picked up important. a bunch of wine for Kayla, and then I um, drove, started driving because I was bringing my car. Like Bianca said, we had we had the cushions and some other stuff we needed for the van, like kitchen stuff. She had a lot of the yeah. storage yeah. stuff. Like I had brought everything from my house because I had lived where the van was, so I had put all my stuff in it. But um, she was bringing all the other stuff, yeah. and when she showed up. I had been gone for a couple of days, and it, before that, right before that, I had moved every single thing I owned I into the about, van. Ugh. So the entire length of the van was completely full. Wood in the back, every ounce of the gar garage filled with stuff, full-size moving boxes filling the walkway. The benches. All of every the crevice. Front seat. Every crevice had my it stuff so in much. it. Yeah, it I, was, I got here, and I was like... Yeah, it was a lot of stuff, but I realized belatedly that I was going to have to move all of my stuff out of the current storage situation I had into the van. Like, I realized it at 8 a.m. on the day that I had to do it, which mm -hmm. was the same day I was leaving for a mini vacation before the van. So, that meant that when Katie showed up, awesome. I had also just gotten there, because she picked me up from the airport, I think. Yeah. Um, and so we got to the van, and the first thing we had to do was move all of that junk out of there and yeah. eventually when katie's car to be driven back to texas where my dad was shocked that it was arriving because i might have forgotten to tell him that i had more stuff yeah on his way but i had stopped halfway um to hang out with my friends tim and abby in denver and then finished the rest of the drive and then arrived to, to this mess it was a mess, to be honest. Yeah, I would have been like, out, I'm out. Mate, I was I'm perturbed because <laughs> I was like, I didn't agree to come and move you. I just was going to help us finish our house. Unfortunately but for you, those were are not mutually exclusive. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Did we re remake a kitchen when you got here? Is that the first thing that we did? I feel like it is. I feel like the old kitchen was in here until that you That was this up. time? Was That wasn't last time? Hmm. Maybe it was last time. Okay, I'm lying. It was a previous time. So we the kitchen the was kitchen. made. Everything was painted. What did we even have to do? I don't even... Oh, we had to make the upper cabinets. Those weren't done. The, we added a guy. wall. We added this storage up here. All of the... The frames that you can see behind mm. us. Those had to be added. We fixed the bed. Bed had to be fixed. We made 
We fixed um, the toilet. All the doors. You can't see all the doors. We'll get to the tour video I one day. about all the doors. And, but the doors probably took, I mean, just painting them alone took forever. And, of course, the set for the dresser, I wrote all the measurements down and did them all correctly and then put them, them together wrong. So oh, yeah. Katie goes to install them, and they're too short and too wide. And Katie's like, um, you're probably not willing to hear this right now. And I was like, because she wasn't. I really also, wasn't. it was because when she had been making them, I was like, what are those for? And so I was like, <laughs> where are they going to be? They were in a shape that she knew. It was understandable at the time. But yeah, there's a lot of painting, door making, additional storage creation. It was, it was a time, but I was shocked in the end that it all got done. Like that was probably... But what's the most shocking part about moving into the van, Katie? You know? Am I supposed to? You're <laughs> supposed to know. <laughs> Katie doesn't you know. know. Katie, <laughs> was, Katie, was uh, shocked. Katie's most shocked part about moving in the van was having to move Kayla's shit. <laughs> <laughs> no, it was not. It was actually when we put all of our stuff in the van and it all fit. Oh, yeah. It all Which, who said that we needed the upper cabinets? Us. Okay, Not you. I said we didn't need ones on this side of the van. That we was only the needed compromise. them on the other no, side. No, that was the compromise. No. You said no no cabinets at all. Because it said, makes you feel trapped. Yeah, and we said we need them, and then we compromised two on one side. Yes. Okay, so we were both wrong, and we compromised to <laughs> something correct. She said we were going to have too much storage, and we put everything just enough. Yeah. It, did, it wasn't it, just enough in the beginning. Like, when we put all the kitchen stuff in, that was... One thing where we put all the kitchen stuff and then we put the fun stuff away and we put pretty much all the joint stuff away and we realized we haven't used that set of drawers. We haven't used those overhead cabinets. We hadn't used this well, we bench at all. We haven't moved all our stuff in yet. <laughs> well, true. but we didn't, I don't think well, we assumed that we would have an additional bench full of personal stuff. Yeah, the, this whole bench, I, for some, I don't know what I thought it was going to store, but I didn't think we would each get our own section like we did. Yeah, so we ended but up. it's good that we did because our stuff would not have fit. No. <laughs> so we all have four pieces of storage in the van. We all have a shelf in the dresser. We all have a drawer in the kitchen. We all have an overhead shelf above the bed, and we all have a, what are these called? Section cabinet box. section box, box cabinet. in the bench. <laughs> okay, so that was my most shocking thing about the van. What was yours? When you got here. I don't one? even know. I mean, I was pretty much expecting everything. Nothing really <laughs> shocked me. Yeah. Because I refused to come during the shocking moments because I knew I would be pissed the entire time and it would be no help to anybody. <laughs> Maybe my most shocking moment was the fourth Reginald. He was in the ceiling. He was in the ceiling. That was shocking. I think mm -hmm. that was Katie's most shocking moment, honestly, because she I'm was the one that pissed. saw him in yeah, the ceiling. Yeah, you were the one who saw him in the ceiling and you were very mad and I was less perturbed because I had lived with mice for about six weeks and they had annoyed the crap out I of me. I wouldn't but... have minded when they're on the floor. It was it was literally just the fact that he was in the ceiling and he like looked down at me while I was laying in bed and I was like, he's going to get, he's going to get in bed with us. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he was going to get in bed with us, but I was, we had just finished like sealing up the ceiling so that there were no open holes really. So like we couldn't just open up the ceiling and get him out. We were pretty stuck. And I personally had witnessed both of the previous rats and mice, mice, mice whatever there's a big difference <laughs> sure they literally felt, a big I, they're difference. really yeah you know, if, there's if, a if big we had difference. rats i would not have been okay with it anywho the mice and both watched both of them die and uh, it was just scarring it was a scarring i do experience. have to say i kept suggesting sticky pads and they waited for like three weeks and i was like sticky pads sticky pads sticky i pads. really wanted to use the and then when they pads. finally got sticky pads they caught it the next day <laughs> Yeah, um, I was like, I grew up in an old house and we had a lot of <laughs> roaches and mice, and so I was like, I know how to catch them. Do the sticky traps work on roaches? Yeah, they work on roaches too. Whoa, everything is work on work because on roaches as well like to scurry along mm -hmm. the sides. Stop Let's stop talking about the scurrying, please. <laughs> but um, yeah, guys, we built this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I think in the end, that's the most shocking thing is that it is finished. I mean, of course, uh, Katie, what was the com comment you made? Pretty much. Why do you keep? Because I'm very keep... perturbed by it. It was a very perturbing moment because oh, of what happened. It? As soon as we finished our build, I was like, now that we're done building, like something mechanical is going to happen. 
And then but you guess keep what? saying that because me and Katie had been saying that for the whole six months we were building. We were like, watch, we're going to finish building yeah. it and the van's going to okay, not work. so now I'm going to blame both of you for what happened after the van <laughs> had finished. It had nothing to do with us. It had to do I with the fact that it's a 13-year-old van that had been very heavily used. No, two I think it's Scarlet. bad juju. Two, two time in Scarlet. Bad juju. Wanted to, two to times, stay two time consistent. In. Yeah, she wanted to stay two times. <laughs> I don't know about any of that. The moral of the story is we got the van built and then we got to have a really fun time moving everything in. And honestly, that was a really enjoyable experience, cleaning it out and then stuffing all of our stuff in. I personally enjoyed putting it in. All of the clothes that I brought fit. That's not true. I probably sent some back with you. Did you send clothes back with you? I, I know remember. Bianca didn't. Bianca, every single thing she packed is in the van right now. Yeah. I don't think whether I need it or not. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it came with me and it was staying here because I was like, well, there's no, there's no way of taking it back. Even when we went back to Texas for a week, I was like, I don't want to bring a whole bag back. <laughs> I don't want to have to carry another bag. It's just staying. It's it's, our, it's, it's in there. It's already the there. Van. It fits and it's fine with me. Yeah, I definitely got rid of some stuff and probably could get rid of more stuff in the van, but we'll see. We'll see what happens. I'm thinking of a pair of jeans specifically that it's not been below 90 any day. But one day it will be below 90 outside. And I will wear my darn jeans because they're super cute. But that's for another for another time. Yeah. yeah. Um, but yeah, it was, it was kind of shocking to finally fully move in. I do want to give a special shout out on the cushions. We did not make yes. the cushion covers. Yeah. We want to give a special shout out to Katie's mom and, and Aunt, Aunt Pam. Pam. They're the best. They. I don't know if we're allowed to share this story, but I want to. Sh can we share the story with the video? They oh, this? I'm sure we can share the story. I don't know if they want us to share the video. <laughs> <laughs> I'll see but, if I can get special permission okay. for some Patreon. Hopefully, content or maybe if. Let's hope that Aunt Pam and Katie's mom. Peer pressure. <laughs> will allow us to send this, but Katie sends us this video. <laughs> it is Katie's Aunt Pam just going off about how much she hates doing the cushions and how she's she can't believe she's doing. What did she say? There was something. She. My mom was like. <laughs> We're having so much fun, and Aunt Pam was like, "No, we're not. <laughs> I don't want to do this." And then Aunt Pam was like, "I wouldn't do this for anyone else." And then I think at the end of that video or another video, she was like, "You know, I'm just kidding, right?" And we were like, "My favorite part yeah. was that they were like, okay, these are 30 minute cushion covers. <laughs> okay, oh, yeah. so we've cut the first ones and we cut them wrong, so we're going to the <laughs> store." And then they come back and they're like, okay, so we finished the first one. It was about a three and a half hour cushion, not a 30 minute <laughs> one. And I was like, that explains everything of how the van They got. were calling that one the day and a half one because oh, they had right. started the day before and messed up the material. And then and they then did the finish. The side. second cushion was their like two hour one, two hour. And then they had a one hour and then they finally got it down to 30 minutes and it was. And like, they were expecting to do sense. each one like in 30 minutes. Uh -huh. And I was like, this is like van build. Huh? Yeah. Aunt yeah. Pam and. <laughs> And that version. version. Yeah. I was like, we should have uh, we should have warned you not to expect anything to go according to plan. <laughs> Nothing ever fits in the time frame that you want. No. Nope. Your materials never last the amount that you want. You nope. will have to go to the store at least one time for any given project. At and least. They, they, they did that. So shout out to Mom and Aunt Pam for They're amazing the because true. these cushions yeah, are these perfect. Cushions are yeah. Good. So they're like, and they if really, we made them they wouldn't have looked this it looks so bad <laughs> also the pillows yes yeah. the pillows are beautiful as well and if you're not watching the video you can't see the pillows right now but check out in a couple of weeks our van tour and you will see all the pillows and mm -hmm. what's inside of them which is a surprise you're gonna get to find out later because it's Ooh. not pillows pillows <laughs> shockingly enough surprise surprise <laughs> um yeah i'd say the only bad thing is like i spent a lot of time looking up what was going to go in these cushions like picking the exact right thing and I wanted it to be super comfortable for the person who had to sleep there which is Katie <laughs> and um it did not work out that way did it no but I figured out a solution yes. which I'll put in the van video tour I mean maybe if I feel like it <laughs> um and if it ever really became an issue we would be able to just cut new cushions that are the size that would fit into our beautiful cushion yeah, we might yeah. have to like covers. look into that in the future, but the cushion covers are great. Unfortunately, the cushion material that I purchased is more squishy. It's, it's very squishy. Very squishy. And squishy isn't exactly 
supportive or comfortable whenever you're sitting on a box right when you're <laughs> sitting on wood so we'll see if that gets fixed in the future but so far honestly like i totally when we were building out the van i was like i'm always going to be sitting on the bench that's all i'm going to do all the time i'm not always sitting on the you bench you were always going on about i that's was always like you were like stuck on the l bench and... i was very stuck in the design process on this bench and a lot of seating space and i was really set on the fact that we had to have plenty of places to sit because i was like i'm just going to be sitting all the time it's all i'll ever have to do but you'd never let us sit <laughs> i know but the thing is you plan so much crap that we never <laughs> actually have the downtime yeah yeah downtime is not something we've had at all in the course of this time and honestly when we have had it be it breakdowns or work days or something it's we're in a different well yeah. we're in different places like today we had a work day and we were in a coffee shop all day so we weren't sitting in the van hanging out but yeah um, when we get our wee boost we get our wee boost if you guys want to give us some money for a wee boost <laughs> we will gladly accept it <laughs> well it's always easy to accept money from people that's uh something we're good at <laughs> Why are you looking at me like that? Why are you saying it like that? I'm just saying that. Are we getting happy? close to our time? Is that what? Am I not allowed to? I was like, don't point it out. It? It's now breaking the fourth have to wall. Get cut out. I was like, now I have to edit this out. Why? Because I don't want to talk about time on the thing. Yeah, yes, I'm silly. keeping an eye on the time. Don't say something. All right, and we're jumping back in after I fart. Mm. Okay, we're jumping. That is on you. That fart is on you. It's, no, not, it's on not It's into the cushion. It's over here. <laughs> All right. What's your favorite part about the van? Right now? Right this instant. Share with the people. I like my staring windows. Your staring windows? Yeah, you have a lot of staring windows. Uh, I'll, But, like, for practicality, I have to say our mosquito nuts. They were a late addition. They showed up after the second try to start the van life. Um, <laughs> after one of the breakdowns and we all ended up back in Texas, which we'll get to in a future episode. Um, yeah, they're pretty handy. I'm not gonna lie. I don't remember life without them, but my favorite moment of getting them was that when we first installed them, Katie put them in and then she was actively saying as she put them in, guys, I think you're gonna have to teach me how to use these. She was not able to get them actually open. I still She's struggle, not, honestly. I just kind of go. Now. Yeah, 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 I just kind of head sits. first. I, I kick, I use my leg and use do leg first i just struggle to yeah yeah it feels like it needs like this i can it doesn't matter but <laughs> it's not yeah but which, it's good for keeping bugs out which more the, bugs than would have been not, in, yeah yeah because one thing yeah. we struggle with is if our doors open late at night because bianca's typically showering late at night we have the lights on and i don't know if you know anything about bugs people who are listening but they like light and so we'll end I bet they've never heard that. Before. I know it's <laughs> shocking information. If you have a light on outside, bugs will go to it. And so, typically, that happens with our mosquito nets. So they're very, very handy. Bianca, what's your favorite thing? I don't know why, but I really love this fake wall that we. <laughs> <laughs> Bianca does. You do. You talk about it. It makes all the it time. feel a lot homier. I agree. And it really does separate the space. Like what? It, I don't even know what our van would be if it didn't have my dead plant in this beautiful photo. <laughs> it's had a lot of your dead plants. But... And on the other side, it's very handy, which yeah, you a... have to. You have to definitely Wait for the watch van the tour. tour. Yeah. To know what's on the other side of this wall, but it's not just the driver's seat. It's. It's not shocking. We've made mm. use of every ounce of space in this yeah, whole van. Yeah, we've used every single piece. Yeah. There's of the whole van. With Kayla's Cokes and wines, every single crevice. You think that there's a free crevice. There's not. There's we'll, not. We'll move I can tell and there's you. shit in, in there. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> every Sometimes single... literally. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the literally. toilet does <laughs> pop out every once in a while. <laughs> it likes to free itself from its cage. But also, we like it that we have it yeah oh yeah the toilet's been necessary thank you for all those that donated the funds to procure the toilet because without the toilet life would have been harder than it currently is we very much love our toilet and our shower they're both two very nice things i'd say my favorite part of the van is this guy right here which if you're not watching the video you can't tell it's actually the additional section of our kitchen that folds down and then can fold up as a countertop and i really like it because it's perfect like i eat my breakfast on there a lot when Katie's still lounging in her bed, which is the one part of the bench, I can sit on the other part 
and eat my breakfast. So you do sit on the bench. I do in the mornings, definitely. I sit on the bench when she's waiting for us to get up. Yeah. For 15 minutes, like this morning? (laughs) (laughs) No, sometimes I wait longer. Sometimes. But it's also really handy that the fridge is under the same part of the bench that Katie doesn't sleep on because... Sometimes yeah, I, I think need. originally we had had it under the bed, and we were like, mm, "This seems like a bad plan." That would have been really, it would have been really bad. Time. Yeah, like the personally, I'm sitting in the very corner of the L bench, and this is a big storage area, but we don't access it a lot. And we had to move what was in here and kind of trade it out for some other stuff because we realized we don't get in this bench very often because somebody's typically always. Oh, so you had to move a lot of cushions to that corner. For yeah. this corner, it's just like one cushion in a pillow. Yeah. yeah. This one's like five but this one needs to like basically just a blanket. The whole bed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And it's the most comfortable spot to sit in because it's the Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it's uh not as accessed as one would have originally thought. But it still does have a lot of stuff in it that's really ne- necessary for us to have. Such as our day or yeah, our day hiking stuff. And the so toaster like, oven that you wouldn't let me take home? The toaster oven that we may one day need, pr- probably won't. Um, backpacks and uh, vacuum. Those are the things that are underneath my butt right now. But yeah. Katie's butt is over the fridge. Bianca's butt is over all of our personal crap. So yeah. we make good use of space. You have to. Um, one thing we had to teach Kayla was you have to move stuff to get other stuff. Because one day she was getting something out. She's like, ah! Why do I have to move things to get things? And I was like, because we live in a fucking van with yeah, three people. Yeah, like, that's literally part of it. And then when you say one day, that's, this is like a daily thing. It was like this literally daily. daily. Thing. Anytime I had to get anything out, I was just like, who the fuck designed this shit? This is horrible, horrible, horrible. And the answer is, I designed this shit, and that's why it's really horrible. So. And also, we there's literally, literally no, no different way to do it. <laughs> that's true. But, yeah, it's... We all have things we have to work on. My thing is lots of things. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's she going to say? <laughs> I don't even know. Um, yeah. Um, also, we've all taken turns driving in the back of the van because as everybody who's listening to this podcast may or may not know, there's only two seats in the front and there are one, two, oh, three of us. So that means somebody has to be in the back. We've all so far taken turns. We've also tried three of us seating. We'll show you that in the van tour video. It's pretty uh, janky, but it works, so that's nice. Yeah, for when we're driving to national parks. Yeah, for when we want to all see things, it does work out. But, yeah, I'm also considering Dramamine for my time in the back because I did end up face down in the pillows trying to avoid car sickness but the other two have successfully worked like been on a computer and worked in the back which is really just have to take a break yeah and i was like i do get a headache yeah after like two or three hours yeah i don't feel great and i also don't feel like eating because i get nauseous yeah Yeah. so i was like if i don't eat anything (laughs) and i just sit there (laughs) with a headache and then i get it the thing is i get a headache because i haven't eaten right i can't eat because i'm nauseous so (laughs) it's just like a vicious cycle for some reason my car sickness manifests in a lot of ways nauseousness is one of them but really tiredness is the number one way like i get exhausted your body's probably like this is too much for us we better Mm -hmm. shut down yeah my body needs to kick that shit out because we're about to drive long time long time driving lots of driving many different places so it's gonna have to figure it out but so far it's been pretty successful and it's also really handy because when the front two people need something we can just yell at the back person hey can i get that phone charger that's also, in it's the nice whenever we go down a bumpy road and all the shit starts falling open and oh it's someone's back here <laughs> so to hold it all the time <laughs> <it. laughs> or like we forget to put a fan down right. we can do that or yeah we have not gotten like our drive away setup done like if you watch yeah. some van tour videos they're like this is what we have to do before we drive away We, like, everything is decluttered and there's nothing out and about, but still, like, we're perfecting how we keep our drawers closed, our doors closed. Sometimes we do leave a fan or two open or a window open and we have to go catch those things. So, we're perfecting that, but it's not, I wouldn't say it's perfect. I don't think it's one or, one of us or anybody. It's just, like, overall, we're trying to figure out the best way to keep our stuff where it goes. But I will say this, I lived in the van for six weeks with no doors on any storage, and this is a improvement great improvement yeah i don't like to talk about kayla's time in the van because it stresses me out 
Yeah, I lived through it. And, yes, um, but you were a very different person than me. <laughs> that's very true. So that's a strength I'll, I'll just like keep on my back pocket. I can live in an unfinished van. It's pretty cool. Is it? I mean, I had my gym as a shower, so yeah, other than that, it was pretty cool. So. Man. But yeah, um, coming up in the next couple of weeks, next week we'll talk about I'm trying to think. I think next week we'll do both the, our first try at the van road trip and then our second try at the van trip. It's going to be a two-parter. Yeah, there was two tries specifically, and they both failed. <laughs> and there was a lot of just frustration. And the reason it took, it took a long time for us to start the podcast because there was just a lot of um, uncertainty in the air. Yeah, and uncertainty so, has ruled our lives for the last six weeks. It's been uh, stressful to say the so least. So that's why you probably haven't heard from us, and our posts have been very scattered. Because we didn't know what the heck was going on. We didn't know what was going on, and it's hard to like post when you're frustrated because for like six weeks straight. It's one thing when it's like you're having a bad week, and you post like, a bad, yeah. bad week. It was like a bad Month six and a half. weeks, <laughs> and we didn't actually consistent. know what was going to happen, and people kept asking us, hey, how, what's going on? And we're like, we don't know. I'm like, please stop yeah. asking. That was the number one thing. There was a point, like... But I get we, it. Like, yeah. I get it, it totally, but, like, there was a point I was just like, if I have to explain what's going on with the van one more time, I think I'm just going to break down and, like, never get it back in that van. <laughs> I don't know. It was... But a lot happened in the last six weeks, happened. and uh, it's just overwhelming to, like talk about separately so next week we're going to talk about our first try the first three weeks and a lot of crap happened and then you know we went to texas and then we, we came back and gave it a second try and we'll tell you all the crap that happened yeah yeah after that time and like we said we're starting up our youtube channel this week this Woo-hoo. thursday we're gonna yeah. have a how we met slash why first, we're doing this why we're doing this and then the week after that we're gonna have every tuesday and thursday videos fan work and what we're adventure, doing adventure adventure vlog and also there was is there another thing the podcast videos oh yeah we're doing Monday. the we're going to be posting podcast videos because people had asked that if they could see us yeah i think it'd be funny because we always talk about our facial reactions. What if, we're not, <laughs> what if we are uh, not as entertaining as we think we are on video? I wonder what we look like. That'd I guess we'll shocking. find out. I guess we're going to find out. Yeah, Let us yeah. know. We're, uh, we're gracing your screens, potentially, three times every week. So Three times. You're welcome. So, yeah. Wow. If you missed us the last two months, then get ready. You're going to get sick of us after this. But we so, got a lot planned. Kayla's been working really hard on the itinerary when I work on the videos and the podcast and all that and the website and Katie works her on job. My job, job. That I have to have <laughs> she still has I'm a job. <laughs> Kayla works on the itinerary and we got some exciting places that we're gonna see soon. Yeah, and exciting soon. things. I just need these two ladies to acquiesce to all the hikes that I wanna do <laughs> and then we'll be perfectly fine. That's gonna be a hard no for me. <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm gonna win you guys over one day. But Don't um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, we while we were gone though, we had like hundreds of streams. I don't know who was listening. Yeah, who to the was podcast. it? <laughs> Let who us know. It? We want to know. Also, subscribe. Go to sassholesontheroad dot com and subscribe because we don't because there's listeners. All our podcasts have at least forty streams, a minimum of forty streams, yeah. and we do not have forty subscribers. Yeah. But so, also, yeah. the subscribers probably are like, why did I subscribe to this? Because they haven't gotten any newsletters or anything. Mm-hmm. That is my job. <laughs> we're about, we're at 875 listens. So once we get to 1,000, Katie will send a big newsletter. And, and then I'll be more regular after yeah. that. Maybe we'll she did not sound convincing. Did you hear her say that? You're supposed you to listen send to hear monthly her. Monthly newsletters are supposed to be doable. <laughs> She's like, oh, that's I'll right. be it was only maybe monthly. more yeah. regular. I can do monthly. <laughs> <laughs> but Katie will, is supposed to be sending monthly. Maybe now that we're back on track, she'll get back on the month. We get to a thousand. She'll send a big thousandth stream newsletter and get yeah. back on her monthly routine. And my, we'll, back on my monthly routine, I've literally sent <laughs> one. <laughs> and 
then maybe I thought I just thought of this now. Maybe we'll send you a postcard from one of the places we are. Yeah. To all our subscribers, we'll send you a postcard. So make sure that you put your address because some people yeah. subscribe but they didn't put their address, which means that they didn't get the our special sticker. Also, we we have a new logo, so you'll get a postcard and a new sticker with our new logo once we reach a thousand streams because we're really close. Yeah. So subscribe. Go to our YouTube channel and subscribe to because like we said, videos are about to blow up. Yep. <laughs> Y'all are going to be so tired of us. <laughs> and yeah, I'm Bianca. I've been Kayla. I'm Katie. <laughs> and we're Sassholes on the Road. And we're all over the